and we have an angel. A creeping one. <laughs> hey, nice shirt. Thanks. All right. Get a lens flare over you and everything, just like an angel would be glowing. <laughs> hey, it's been what, a month since I've seen you? Maybe more? Six weeks? It's been a long time. It's been a hot minute, yeah. That's it. Well, let's get started. Welcome back to the Monday Mail Call. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> and this is... Baby McQueen. The one and only. So happy to have her back. It's been almost two months, I think, since since we've had you in a proper video rather than using archive footage. It's been a hot minute. That's right. We cheat on you guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes we do use a little archive footage of these videos to put them together. But <laughs> we have some mail here in front of us, and we've actually collected a lot of mail, so we decided to break it down into a couple different videos. So this week, we're going to open up some mail, give you a little bit of news. Next week, we'll open up some more mail, and there's some more actually expected on the way. People told me they've sent out envelopes, so... We will be looking for some more, so watch for it. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Stick around. Money mail calls are back. As long as you guys keep sending us the packages. And, oh my God, Duckman, I know your address now. I'm going to stalk you. Yeah, well, this is a business address. This is actually where my mailbox lives. And uh, if you want to go there and wait for me, the business owner said there's no problem. He'll be happy to start up a barbecue grill and feed you guys, but you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> but, yes, you can meet me if you just happen to... Uh, run by my mailbox address or just send us something you know that's pretty cool all right well we're gonna open up some mail today so what you got first one you want to open that one yep it's gonna be a letter looks like from unscrew it from from tinst and that is tnst or tennessee street as i was saying earlier yeah <laughs> looks from kingston australia you guys in Australia are so cool. I've always gotten a lot of mail from Australia. I know, I oh, you things. opened it wrong. Did you ever use a letter opener before? I have. This is a fancy um, flat-headed letter opener oh, here. Oh, it's just the envelope. Hey. Okay. Ooh, this looks like... Envelope. There's a lot of print on there, huh? Uh, it looks like it's, it came from a typewriter. A typewriter? You can tell, yeah. What's it say? Hello, Duckman. 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 That's it. I'm Jewish from the Northeast. Hello, Duckman. I've been watching your film on getting a blue classic Volkswagen to start even through some, even though some parts need to be restored, such as the hole on the back right of it. The front right mud guard was rusty, but it has more scratches everywhere, which are fading. Yeah. So after getting the engine running, would you paint it to its original dark blue color? It would be nice to see it run running er if the engine doesn't stop when you press the petrol or how you Americans say gas pedal. Mm -hmm. The Gia car was interesting to look at plus the duck was getting in the way. I cracked up laughing at that. My interest is the same. Recently I said to B. McQueen I've seen classic Volkswagens, one purple, one in White Beach and a white one in Kingston, an orange one that appeared. So did another as a police Volkswagen car again in Kingston and a last one in Hobart? Hobart? Yeah, Hobart. Hobart. Well, that's how I would say, Hobart. Hobart. <laughs> They're part of Australia state called Tasmania. Okay. I come from Iron Trap Garage, had a letter of when he did some work on the meat truck, including the hot rod, gave me a care package, lovely it was. I have it in my bedroom covered in a collection pile of classic minis. Hey, wait a second. We're interested in Volkswagens, not classic minis. Whoops. Here's the artwork <laughs> of the blue Volkswagen that would get you interested. Good luck restoring it. From a YouTuber who started filming in 2009 to 2021, from a Panasonic card video camera to the digital A camera made in 2005, the new storyteller. And then, P.S. I have a collection of toy Volkswagens, but I have too many. And then there's... No such thing as having too many Volkswagen. You drew us some Volkswagen. Yes. <laughs> Let's show that up close. Take it out. Drew us a beetle there. And it looks like down below that's probably a Type 3. No, uh oh, it says Mini. My bad. And TNST is the new storyteller is what it stands for there. As far as the questions, he said, well, would you like to keep it the original dark blue color? Um, I think that's a preference. It all depends on really what you want. If you want to try to keep the car as original as possible, go with the original color. If it doesn't matter to you, but you'd love to have a red car, make it red. There's no reason that should stop you. 
And as far as the uh, stepping on the uh, the gas pedal, as we say in America, or the petrol, as you would, check your idle jets. The idle jets, which are usually on the right-hand side of the carburetor on the top, typically those get a little crud in them, and all it takes is one little speck of sand, and the thing will not idle. So pull that little brass jet out the side of the carburetor, clean that out, put it back in, and you'll probably be okay. If it's not that, it might be something with the adjustments, but nine times out of ten in the Beetles that I've had that were idling fine and then weren't, it was just some crud in the carburetor. So thank you so much, the new storyteller. Did we get a real name? I don't think so. I didn't see it. No, we didn't get a real name. So we're just going to call him the new storyteller. Thanks so much. We really appreciate it. Britain print was hard to read with my sunglasses on. Written print? Or the type typewritten. Type typewriter print. Typewritten. Typewritten? I think there's something about Britain. No, the typewriter, it was hard to read with my sunglasses on. It's, it's surprising to get a letter that's typed out too, but we don't see that stuff anymore. I mean it has a texture, it has a smell. That's how I typewriters I, the are. texture is how I knew it came from a typewriter yeah. immediately. I was like, oh wow. I haven't seen a typewriter in a hot minute. Well we'll have to visit his YouTube channel if I haven't already and uh, check out his uh, projects. Yeah. And uh, just the fact that he uses typewriter is really cool to me. <laughs> it's really cool. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Well, before we move on to anything else, we want to roll that intro. So what do we do? We licky likey. We comment and subscribe. We don't forget to plug that dingle belly. And we'll be back right after the intro. Kind of missed. Maybe I should try again. <laughs> Put your finger under its foreskin. Oh, do it again. This is for you, Jody. Hi. <laughs> oh, it hurts my finger after a while, though. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, this is from Jody up in Canada. Jody's been a good friend of mine for a while. He uh. He talks to me all the time. He's just a really, really nice guy. Always been very, very supportive and just been a great friend. He just got a new boyfriend, too. Yeah. I think his name... Oh, Jody's going to kill me if I say it wrong. I think his name is Josh. Shout out to Jody and Josh. If I said the wrong name, um, take your mail back or something. What do you think's in there? <laughs> well, I don't know. But, um, I mean, you could punish me with it if it's what I think it is. <laughs> it, um... Just based on the shape of it and shaking it, it feels like it could be rubbery, perhaps jelly. Um, it's anybody's guess. I mean, maybe it's a wrench. A rubber wrench. Maybe. Maybe. Well, let's find out. <laughs> open it. You want me to open you it? You open it. All right, I'm going to open it. It's from Jody. You open it. It's supposed to be the male girl. I guess I'm the male girl this time. You are the male girl. Ooh, actually, that's interesting. That's 2021 for you. I'm the male girl. M-A-L-E. <laughs> Oh boy, hope I got the right end. Oh wait, wait, nope, nope, I didn't. Open this end, I'm opening up the wrong way. I'm following the instructions the wrong way. Let's try again. Duckman doesn't follow instructions. Yeah, no, Duckman does it his own way. People don't tell Duckman what to do. This time Jody did. Jody's my master. Hi, Jody. I hope he gets a kick out of this too. Rate it off. It says no, it's not a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, do I, I okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it is. It does have a little pee hole in the end though. Oh god. Oh! oh and there's a note too. Let's see what we got here. Hiya, Ducky Poo! This is crafted in my hometown of Thunder Bay, and I thought you would like to try this. Be cool if you do a little promotion for the company in the video. Always hope you enjoy this. Some hot sauce for a hot stud of a man. Hugs and tugs. <laughs> Jody. I like that. <laughs> I appreciate you, Jody. Thanks so much. So, and what do we got? Small, be small beach. Small batch. Fermenters. Heartbeat hot sauce. Thunder Bay, Ontario. That's pretty Scorpion. cool. The uh, pepper resembles a heart, an actual beating heart, 
scorpion, oh, probably scorpion peppers. That means this thing is hot as dick. Um, what kind of dick are you sucking? <laughs> <laughs> Jody's apparently. Oh man, Jody, appreciate you might it, get Jody. That we can't. Uh, I can't wait to try this because I'm a I'm a hot sauce nut. I mean, I put it on just about everything. I mean, it goes anything from my breakfast cereal to my ice cream to my tuna fish. I mean, I put it on everything. We should try it on camera. Okay. Did I do it wrong? I think so. <laughs> you want me to hit it right now, see if we can get through the next piece of mail while I'm burning with a little bit of this on my tongue? I was going to say, I should, I should have gone and got crackers or something to try it on. Crackers. Donuts. I'm not putting hot sauce on a donut. You out of your mind? Put it on your donut. No. Why? No. Why? No. Why? No. It'll get rid of the cooties. It'll make all the crickets go away. The crickets? Yeah. Cooter crickets? The cooter crickets, right. You never heard that? No. The crunch crickets. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, we're about to find out if I'm able to survive this through the next piece of mail without a beverage. We're going to go unedited for the rest of the video and see if uh, I can tolerate a little bit of hot, heartbeat hot sauce. Now, because I just brushed my teeth, it's probably gonna hurt more, because typically your gums get all so, because <laughs> we're recording this in the morning, so. Get um, a good whiff of it before we. Yeah, let's do that, yeah. let's do that actually. I'll let you do the first. Oh, that smells good. It does. It's got a little tang to it. it. Smells unlike other hot sauces, like maybe there's a little cayenne in there too. There's like a little, it gives me barbecue vibes, like it'd be good on pulled pork or something. There it is. Uh, yes, here's why. Um, vinegar first off, red peppers, habaneros, beets, onions, garlic, Trinidad scorpion peppers, chipotle. There's the smell. There it is. Pepper, water, vinegar again. Okay. <laughs> Sugar, salt, tomato paste, smoke, essence. It's got everything in it. Oh, that'd be dope with some barbecue. But habaneros is actually, well, red peppers is the first pepper ingredient. Uh, habaneros following that. So it, yeah, it's going to be hot. It's gonna be hot, hotter than dick. Well, it's got a, a little scale on it. Mild, medium, hot, extra mm -hmm. hot, so it's hot. It's hot, it probably falls a little higher than that just based on the fact that it has Trinidad's in it. And, uh, well, here we go, ready? See. Yep. Bottoms up. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Burning my throat more than my tongue. But oh no, <laughs> you're, you're okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. It's, uh, it's probably gonna build though. Oh dear. It's one of them vinegar sauces too, which Talk usually about the taste. hurt more. I don't know if I'm sweating or if that's a tear. <laughs> it's um, it's delicious. I taste the chipotle. I taste all the different peppers going on there. It's just a little bit of vinegar, which even though it's the first ingredient, it's not like Tabasco, which I think has too much vinegar in it. I hate Tabasco. Um, I like it, but very small amounts and only on certain things. Mm -mm. This, however, um, mm, wow, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> But I'll, I'll uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna survive it after all. I'm the guy that eats the ghost pepper chicken wings one after the next. <sighs> while Bill put his pinky in the sauce one night when we went out, mm -hmm. touched it to his tongue, he started sweating and his eyes welled up. He goes, how are you eating those? <laughs> yeah. He said the next day he was still hurting. Oh man. Me, it hurt for about uh, 30 minutes or so and then it wears off, but I guess it's still there. Because yeah. I know when I wipe my mouth and I touch my face and burn my face, I can still feel it, so it was still in my mouth. Oof. But um, that's good. That's good. Can't wait to put it on some, uh, probably a burger. I think it'll be good with some red meat. Mm. Yeah. Pork too. If that's what you want to do. Shake well after opening. Well, we're not going to do that just yet. I need to be refrigerated. <clears throat> My nose is burning out too. It went up right. into the sinuses. <laughs> clear everything well, out. We got one more piece of mail. This one is addressed to you. Yep. Sent to you from Amazon. Amazon, so Amazon's one of your fans, huh? I guess Amazon is a fan. I have an Amazon wish list. <clears throat> Check it out on my page. That was a surprise to see. It was addressed to B rather than to me. And um, coming from Amazon without an actual return address. Hopefully there is a note in there that says who it's from. I hope so. Amazon doesn't always do that. Not everybody fills it out anyway. So. All right, it is. A Pikachu double-headed throbbing dildo. Oh God, from Amazon? That'd be impressive. Let's see if there's a, a Oh, note. I know what it is. It's from John McLaughlin in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, sweet. Aha. <gasps> uh -huh. A note at all exactly. come out of here? No, no little note. Just nope, that. little note. Oh. oh, wait. No. No, that's from Amazon. 
Thank you, John. I, I believe, yeah, he had contacted me about this and asked if um, the tools on my Amazon wish list had to be that specific brand. I said, no, they were just ideas. So he sent me a filter wrench. Which means, oil filter wrench. Oil filter wrench, which means he watched my video of me changing my oil where I had to borrow tools from um, DJ's neighbor. So now I have my own. Well, fantastic. Which is good. Yeah. Because I need to uh, change my oil again soon on the fire box. Now you know Volkswagens don't have an oil filter, but when we build your engine, we'll make sure that we add one, and whatever filter we wind up putting on it, we'll make sure it fits in the wrench, so you can use it on there too. Thank you so much, John. That's really a cool tool. Very yeah, thoughtful. It is. Yeah. Um, this is excellent. This is going to help me a lot. Far out. Well, thank everybody. You. Thank you, John. Right, John. John. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, uh, what was the other package? The new story. TNST. Tennessee Street. <laughs> Tennessee Street. <laughs> the new story. Teller. Teller. The new storyteller. Thank you to the new storyteller, and uh, I'm still burning. Wow. <laughs> Woo! I want more, though. Maybe not plain. Oh, plain. You can plain. Maybe put on a tooth toothbrush. Work it in there. <laughs> Thanks so much for sending us mail. If you'd like to send us mail, hit up DuckShit.net. Look for my address. It just happens to be the same one that we have put. Um, well, it says B. McQueen, but you could also send it to the Duck Man. There it is. It's us right there. Check it out. Can't really see it. There's a shadow trying to form, but you guys get the drift. So thank you so much for again for everything that was sent to us. And oh, it, I'll try that again. I can't talk because the uh, hot sauce is still burning the dog piss out of me. <laughs> So thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Plug that dingle belly so you get updates every time I upload a video. Find B. McQueen's links up on DuckShit.net. Find links to my other YouTube channel. They're just the same. You can also find our Instagrams, tweeters, and anything else that we might have up on DuckShit.net. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy Pride! Be gay. Do crime. Hail Satan. Not a dildo. Not a dildo. <laughs> it's DiGiorno. Ha 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 